Hello, Roxana, how are you? Roxana, are you okay? Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? It was cool. A little busy. Oh, what did you do? Well, in the morning, I did many activities in my house. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoon, I went to the gym and I did aerobics. That's and, mm -hmm. Yeah. Is spinning or a, a cardio, a running, a treadmill, what? Um, cardio. Cardio, okay. It's... Like, like a class. Like the yeah. aerobics class, yes. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, with music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun, right? Yes, a little fun. Okay, okay. Well, very fun. Ah. <laughs> but something because uh, I like when we when we dance, but sometimes we we did we do some exercises with music, but no. No, that kind of music that I like. Ah, uh, okay. So sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah. Okay. And Roxana, do you go to the gym by yourself or with your husband or boyfriend or daughter? Oh, by myself. Okay. Yeah. And, and do you like to go by yourself? Do you feel, yes, it's, it's your time for you. Yes, I think I, uh, I, I have, I have had exercise uh, all my life. I don't know if it's correct. I my have grammar. Done. <laughs> I have done exercise. Yeah. Is I have done exercise. I have done. Ah, yeah, yeah. I have done exercise. Okay. Uh, since uh, since I was a, a child, I I practiced uh, gymnastic. Mm, when okay. I when I went to school. Okay. And I practiced uh, swimming too. You, you are very active. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I think yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, look at here. Is Gino. Gino is back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, Gino. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good, Gino. How about okay. you? I'm just tired. Tired? <laughs> yeah, I just want to go to sleep. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. yeah one hour and boom yeah and why are you so tired you know uh, a lot of things at work or what yeah a, a lot of things at work solving a lot of problems it, it was hectic today mm -hmm. but it's all coming together so okay it's so a, it, it's when do you expect to to be more relaxed probably during the holiday <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay okay when is the holiday august for you yeah yeah I, I, we have the same holidays as the government so uh, we start holidays on third uh, july 30th until the 7th august 7th yeah oh okay yeah, Wait, at least I, I will have a, you a whole week seven. to to relax. Yeah, from uh, from when to when? Uh, July thirtieth to August seventh, I think. Nice, July thirtieth. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. 
And do you have any plans? Are you are you going to do anything? Yeah, yeah. Actually, my my girlfriend is coming over because she's not from here, so we have like the whole week uh, the whole week planned. So it's gonna be fun. Okay, great. It, where is your girlfriend from, Gino? From Canada. She's from pa no, she's from Paraguay. Ah, Paraguay. When you say pa, I thought oh Pakistan, but okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Paraguay is okay. Paraguay is okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, it must be a little difficult, huh? Yeah. Because but, always the, the long distance is, is difficult. Yeah, it, now it's easier with the technology, but it's still yeah. difficult. Yeah. But we, we, so far we've made it work. So excellent. Congratulations on that. It's not Thanks. easy, but I'm glad. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Ivanya, how are you doing? Hello, Not too good, huh? Morning. Okay, Ivanya. Yes. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. What what happened today? Uh, nothing. Only I say at my, at my home. You look like the energy is like, I, there is <laughs> yes. no vibe. Yes. I was sleeping ah. <laughs> in the afternoon, so okay. that's okay. the reason. I like, I like, Ivani, that the alarm, 7.59, I know, English class. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's for the raining, I think. Okay. All right. Well, good. Well, guys, I'm so glad that you're connected today and that we're ready to get back um, and to finish up our unit two, so that tomorrow we can also work on making Hello, the okay. test. Right now, we're going to start off with a small video, just looking about today's content. Uh, the word is called baffled. Baffled is 2.10. I'm totally baffled. That means confused. Something I don't understand. I'm ah, I'm baffled by this. I'm confused. So listen and find out what we're going to learn today. Attention to the following vocabulary. It will help you express negative feelings. Annoyed, baffled, confused, demoralized, depressed, discouraged, enraged, frustrated, humiliated, infuriated, insulted, irritated, mystified, Saddened, stunned. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Number one, I always get discouraged when. Number two, I sometimes feel depressed when. All right. So the first Hello, thing. Hello, pay attention to the following to vocabulary. vocabulary. It will help. We have a lot of vocabulary today. Let's check. Are there any words that you know? Are there any of these words that you say, ah, yes, I know the meaning. I know this word. No? You don't know any of the words? Yes. Discouraged. Yeah. Discouraged? Yeah. Okay, what is discouraged? It, it it's when you're down feeling down because of something happened that's correct that's a good way that is discouraged when the other way is like when you are not motivated mm -hmm. that's it discourage is not motivated right any other words that you know Annoyed, maybe. Okay, what is annoyed? I, I, annoyed, I think it's like the most common one from, from the list. When, when something irritates you. Okay, okay. Pretty good. Good. When something irritates you, something bothers you, very good. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start off. Uh, it's in the WhatsApp group, or you can use the platform 2.10. And the first thing is with your partners, you're going to discover and discuss what do those words mean? Give your own examples, use them in a sentence, make sure that it's clear for you, right? So one, look at the words, discuss the meaning, and then use in a sentence, okay? So 
the word, make sure you got the right pronunciation, the meaning, and use in a sentence. It's okay? All right, excellent. Let's do yes. it then. Perfect. We have several words. Let's go with our partners. Hey, Kalena, I'll put you into the group. We are in 2.10. 2.10, discussing the vocabulary and using it in a sentence. All right, Rodrigo, we are in 2.10, discussing the vocabulary and using it in a sentence.
Okay. Miguel Franco, use annoyed in a sentence. Okay. Uh, I, I get annoyed mm -hmm. when some people are not uh, punctual for, for the appointment. Okay, very good. All right. Jose Roberto, okay. use baffled in a sentence. Uh, baffled. It's like confused, right? Correct. Okay, I feel baffled when I read uh, our president's tweets. Uh -huh. Okay, good, all right. Marvin, uh, read, uh, use confused in a sentence. Okay, um, I, I felt confused when I was for the first time in a classroom uh, learning English. Okay. Good, good. Ivania, demoralized. Use demoralized in a sentence. Mm, uh, um, I feel demoralized when my boss doesn't like my work. Okay, all right, that's pretty good. Gino, give me depressed. Depressed in a sentence. So my friend was depressed for like several months after he broke up with his girlfriend. Good example, all right. Uh, Kalena, discouraged, use discouraged in a sentence. I'm sorry. Discouraged. Um, I feel discouraged um, when I can I, I, I sorry, teacher. I don't know how hey, discouraged. No, no, no problem. Hey, no, sorry, no, sorry. We are here to learn. We are here to learn. Relax. It's okay. It's no problem. Mirna is going to help you. Mirna knows how to use discouraged. Relax. Go ahead, Mirna. Help what us. Word, teacher? Discouraged. 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 I don't know the meaning of that word. Okay, so this courage is when you feel that the, your motivation goes down. For example, I feel discouraged uh, when I don't pass the level. I feel, ah, then my motivation, I don't want to go. Or I feel discouraged um, when I go to the gym and I don't lose weight. Okay, can I use can I can I can I make yeah, a yeah uh, yeah give it to me give it to me Kelly. I feel discouraged uh, when I can't uh, do the exercise on the platform. Exactly, exactly. Very good. All right, Mirna, give me enraged, enraged. Um, I am enraged when I am in the class and the dogs are barking. And. Oh, and the dogs are barking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. All right, Alexander, frustrated. I feel frustrated when the teacher says, tomorrow we have exam or test. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Only for example, right? Only for example. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, all right. Roxana, humiliated. Give me humiliated. Oh, sorry for my dog because it's barking a lot. Oh, no, don't worry. Uh -huh. I feel It's for Mirna. Mirna is the one who is frustrated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry for her. Uh, I feel humi humiliated, right? I, it's difficult for me the pronunciation. Okay. Hum humiliated. 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 Yes, very good. I Arthur. feel humiliated uh, when someone screams me. Okay, okay. In public, all right. Good. In public, good. yeah. Yeah, good. All right. Uh, Rodrigo Eduardo, infuriated. Rodrigo? Oh, 
Okay, maybe Rodrigo has problems, it's raining. Maybe he has problems with the internet. All right, let's go back to Marvin then. Marvin, give me infuriated. Um, I get infuriated when um, I am thirsty. Okay, all right. Very angry, okay, good. Kalena, insulted. Insulted. Mm -hmm. I feel insulted when someone think that I can uh, do not something. Okay, good, good. Mirna, irritated. Irritated. I I think is irritated when some parents um how do you say gritar? Scream. Scream to the uh, to his child in front of the, a lot of people. Oh, maybe May, that would maybe more is humiliated or infuriated. Okay. Irritated is something that is something that bothers you. Uh, for example, when the people are maybe when the people are driving, mm -hmm. that the people are, you uh, mm -hmm. and when the people are driving and they don't put the lights to turn, you are irritated. It bothers you or something that this is more irritated. Okay. Okay. All right. Alex, give me Hello. mystified. Um, I feel mystified when people talking bad words about the co-worker. Okay. All right. Good. Jose Roberto, saddened. Saddened. I feel sudden, sudden. Uh, I feel sudden when I, uh, I think so when I see people that doesn't have a, a, a decent place to live. Good. Remember people is plural. So when people don't have, when people don't, don't have. have a place to live. Okay, mm -hmm. don't have. Okay, good. Ivania, stunned. Stunned. I feel stunned with all the topics that I have to learn in English. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> like Alexander. Like Alexander. <laughs> all right. Good. Very good. Now, you guys have the idea. It's excellent. Only as a tip, is not necessary. I always use the word I feel. You can use am, um, is, are, okay? He is, he is stunned by the news that his ex-girlfriend is getting married, okay? Oh, look at Gino. I am stunned to see Gino drink so much tequila in English class, <gasps> right? <It's>, uh-huh, <laughs> this is the okay. idea. So you can use is, are, they were, they, they are going to be. You can use it always with the verb to be because it's a description. All of those words are with the verb to be. Descriptions. Okay. Okay. So how was the meeting in your office today? Oh my God, the meeting. I, I was as confused as my partners with all of the information. It's only for practicing. Then you get better at it. Okay. Okay. All right, great. So now what are we going to do? Now that we have our vocabulary, it's time for us to go to our reading. Here we have um, a reading. It's a little hard to see. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. Maybe okay. like this. Okay. Is this okay or no? Yes. yes. For me, it's okay. Okay. 
Okay, great. Um, well, we have a lot of paragraphs. Let's see. The first paragraph is from every to expectations. Uh, and then we have from Heather uh, mm -hmm. to okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have from the ceremony to days. Uh, okay. That's three. Then after to deposit, that's number four. Mm -hmm. And then we have from we uh, to her, number five. Okay. And the last one, number six, only the last sentence. Okay. okay. So I need six six volunteers number one from every to expectation who is number one me okay hey, hey, roberto no me <laughs> <laughs> okay okay alex alex is number one thank you you Jose welcome. roberto okay. okay jose roberto number two okay okay gino you're number three is from the me, me, number teacher. four. Roxana, you? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Roxana. Mania. Okay. You're number four from after to deposit. After. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I need the other. Who's who's number five from we? I did 10. Ah, okay, perfect. Awesome. Then Ivan, you are from we to where was it? Ah, yes from we to her. And the last one, who's going to read the last sentence? Okay, Guadalupe. Guadalupe can read the last <laughs> sentence, no problem. Okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, uh, go ahead. Okay. Every year, more than uh, 300,000 brides in the UK go shopping for the perfect gown to help make their wedding a perfect day. We come up with, with furious brides who would like to ask Bema as Robert Davis, uh, Davis that people who run the, that it's your day wedding shop in the Sorbury, uh, England, why they didn't get their dresses in time or or all. Herter Mori paid uh, 615 libras, okay, to the devices for a deposit on her dress. After her second visit, she realized Bena David was not measuring up to her expectation. Okay, good. 650 pounds. Pounds, okay. Pounds. Good. Mm -hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Heather said, I had several feedings canceled or delayed for different reasons and different excuses. And this went on for a period of time. I was worried because I, I was supposed to pick up my wedding dress two weeks before the wedding. And she said, no, no, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ceremony was planned, the cake was chosen, the guests were invited, but there, but, but there was still no wedding dress. Finally, on the night before the, her wedding, when she was supposed to be having dinner with her family and friends, Heather got a call to say her dress will be ready. However, when she got there, the dress was, still wasn't ready. The Davises promised to work on the dress all night and deliver, deliver it first first thing in the morning of the big day. Okay. I continue. Yes. After I oh, sorry. Yes, yes. Okay. After I sleepless sleepless right, Heather had just two hours to go before her wedding and there was still no sign of the of the device the the devices. With only one hour to to spare, Heather finally cut her losses. She went to her to the oh, I don't understand the nearest nearest wedding yes. mm -hmm. nearest wedding shop and bought a replacement dress of the rack. 
she never even got a ref refund on her deposit. Mm -hmm. We also spoke to Robin Brown, who is getting married two days from now. She didn't know whether or not she will receive her dress on time. So she already bought a replacement. Continue, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she didn't know whether no, she will receive her dress on time. So the so she already bought a replacement. What's more, special yeah. for took the babies to court after they supplied her with a bodice that was defected and didn't ever fit her. Mm -hmm. We have asked the advice for a statement regarding the complaints, but so far they haven't used one and we're wondering if they will. Okay, okay. So let's take a look. What is the main idea of the story? What is the main idea of the reading? She has problem with her uh, wearing dress. Okay. Mm -hmm. The yeah. wearing dresses wasn't ready to, to the day. Yes. Okay. All right, good. And, and is only happened to one person or to many people? Um, for many brides? Correct, for many brides. Yes, many brides have the same because situation. Because it's... Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's 30,000. 30, ah. No, 3,000. 300,000 <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. brides. Uh-huh, it's 300,000 mm -hmm. brides every year. Every year, yeah. Imagine, mm -hmm. it's, a lot of, it's a lot of money. It's a yes. lot of money in the weddings, okay? So here, what are we going to do? Now that you read it and you understood, here you're going to put in order the situation. What is number one, two, three, or four? What is the order of the sentences according to the story? What happened first? What is the first activity? Is it the dress still wasn't ready? Or number one, uh, with an hour to spare, Heather had to purchase a replacement gown. So with your mm -hmm. partners, you're going to read and put the situations in the correct order. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, great. And then let's try one more. Thank you. 